Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to our sermon recap this week where we've got a special guest. We've got Lisa, my wife. Uh, she had the privilege of preaching on Mother's Day, mm -hmm. which was awesome. And she was preaching out of James 2, verses 1 to 13. That's right. So tell us a little bit. For sure. Yeah. James is calling out the sin of partiality. Uh, the early church was uh, discriminating between the rich and the poor. Mm -hmm. And James tells us that to show judgment, or to show partiality based on our own judgments is inconsistent with faith in Christ. Mm -hmm. And so we, we looked at how Jesus came to break down the barriers, not only between um, the rich and the poor, but also um, amongst gender, religion, class, race. Mm -hmm. Jesus came to break down these barriers. And for us to show partiality is, is a sin. And James then calls us to love our neighbor as ourselves. So from this text, we're called through the book of James to reflect on how our actions are reflecting the faith that we proclaim. Mm -hmm. And in this portion of scripture, you challenged us as a church, not just as Sunrise, but the church as a whole, what would the church look like if we didn't show partiality? And you felt that the Holy Spirit was prompting you with just a, some practical things that we can walk out. And I want you to share those For with sure. us today. For sure, yeah. Uh, the first was to pray for those that you find yourself judging, right? Mm -hmm. When we pray for people that uh, that we're judging against ourselves, um, it's it's crazy what God can do. How He can transform our our thoughts about them, and how mm -hmm. um, yeah, we just grow to love those people, and and praying that God would give us eyes to see people as He sees them. Mm -hmm. That we would recognize that all are made in the image of God. Yeah. And secondly, uh, that we would spend time with people that we find ourselves judging. Uh, it's, it's difficult to, to love someone without spending time with them. Yeah. And, and it's harder to judge people that we really love. And so if you find yourself discriminating between any, any type of person to challenge yourself to spend time with them, get to know them and, and grow to love them. Mm -hmm. And thirdly, just to humble yourself before the Father, recognizing yeah. um, your sin, your weakness, your need for Him. And as He lavishes His love upon us, we can then extend His love to those around us. Yeah, that's great. And uh, what I love from your sermon was that you challenged us that there's a good chance that you yourself, or for me, that I annoy people, or there's people right. that wouldn't agree with my opinions, or they have judgments against me. Right. So to humble myself to realize I'm not the standard of, what, right. of making judgments yeah. about who people are. So I love that, just that those practical realities of we're called to pray for people, we're called to spend time with people. We just see that in the life of Jesus and it, right. he models it. Spending the time with people that mm -hmm. people judge. And so we wanna challenge you this week to, to try to implement some of those practical things into your life and just to invite the Holy Spirit to change your perspective. And thank you, Lisa, for your time today. Yeah, thank you for you. preaching on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And we just encourage you to register for our in-person yes. outdoor services. It was awesome being outdoors. And we look forward to reconnecting with you guys. So this Sunday at 10 a.m. We'll be live streaming again, but we'll also be in person. Yeah. So have we'll a great week. We'll see you week. there.